the leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution has advised the visiting Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan against any aggression in northern Syria. Ayatollah Khamenei told Erdogan that any military action in northern Syria will definitely harm Turkey, Syria and the entire region and will instead benefit terrorists. Ayatollah Khamenei described as very important the issue of Syria's territorial integrity and said a military incursion of Syria will only benefit terrorists. Ayatollah Khamenei further added that Iran considers security in Turkey and its border areas as its own. He called on Turkey to pursue a similar approach vis-a-vis -vis its neighbor, Syria. For his part, President Erdogan accused the United States of feeding terrorist organizations in Syria. He further said Russia and Iran should support Turkish operations in Syria. Erdogan said Ankara believes Tehran and Moscow have the same opinion on Kurdish YPG militants operating in northern Syria. Strategically, both Iran and Russia have taken the correct approach. They are focusing on the removal of the US threat first. And I think they believe they can deal with Mr. Erdogan after that, because after all, his key pretext for intervening in Syria and trying to annex part of Syria is the threat from um, Kurdish separatists who are um, facing his troops um, uh, south of the border there. At the moment, there's a collaboration with the Syrian army um, and, the, and the Kurdish separatists in some areas of the north of Syria. In recent months, Turkey has been mauling a military operation in northern Syria against Kurdish militants that Ankara considers as terrorists. The militants are located in the cities of Tal Rifat and Manbij. Effectively, there is some common ground there between Iran and Turkey in relation to the, the Kurdish proxies which are being trained by Israel and by the US in the north of Iraq now. Uh, so the situation is complicated, but I think that, as I said, the priority of getting rid of the US occupation has to be uh, recognised there, even though there are many people who are very concerned about the role Mr. Erdogan's been playing for, for many years now. The meeting was followed by Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Mekdad's visit to Tehran. Mekdad said Damascus will not tolerate the violation of its territorial integrity. Iran, Russia and Turkey have held a trilateral summit on the Syrian peace process. The summit was the seventh meeting of the Astana process. It was held on Tuesday in Tehran and attended by Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Принятым совместным заявлением подтверждена приверженность укреплению трехстороннего сотрудничества России, Ирана и Турции в интересах достижения устойчивой и жизнеспособной нормализации ситуации в Сирийской Арабской Республике. We all emphasize that we should combat terrorism, and there is the need to do so, and there is also a need for cooperation among all states. Today, terrorist currents have jeopardized the security of the region. Raisi further slammed the U.S.'s unilateral sanctions on Syria. The sanctions have put additional pressure on the Syrian people and deprived them of the possibility of a normal life. The, the, the primary focus, the, the, the priority has to be to get the US out of Syria and Iraq, by the way, because, of course, the, the use of terrorist groups is something that the US has is the mastermind of, basically, and it's behind, been behind ISIS and Al-Qaeda, all of those associated groups using the Saudis and so on. And the biggest... Uh... Uh, problem today, it was mentioned, the common will to fight international terrorism there and also the foreign forces, meaning here the American forces and the others, that they should leave the uh, Syrian uh, territory. The U.S. invaded Syria in 2014 after supporting terrorists in the country. Washington began stealing and smuggling the Syrian crude from the oil-rich eastern province of Deir al-Zor and elsewhere under former American President Donald Trump.